the word that I keep getting from God is do not get lost in the transition. Do not get lost. And what God is revealing to me is that the world is in a heavy state of delusion. There are things that are being normalized, meaning the world is trying to push God down and his word down. So now we are being desensitized. Come on now. And what God keeps revealing to me is the anchor. God says, I am the anchor and my word is the anchor. This is how you stay in the light. Because when you look around in society, everything that is not of God is being pushed. It is being popular. Come on now. And it's catchy. It's easier for people to grasp. We already know that living in our flesh is so much easier than living in the spirit. Come on now. And living in truth. This is why now people hate truth. People hate the light. Because so many people are getting lost in the transition. And God's saying, if you want to see me, stay in my word and continue to seek me. This is how you stay in the light. This is how you don't get lost in this dark transition that's happening in the world. There's a heavy state of delusion. Come on now. A very heavy state of delusion right now. And it's not going to get any better. And it's going to get, this, this race is getting tighter and tighter, especially for the believers. Because everything around us is darkness. And not to mention, we're dealing with our own personal problems. So sometimes we feel like we can't see God or hear from God. They keep turning off the light. But we have to keep the light on. Come on now. I say we got to keep the light on. Because if not, everybody's going to fall. Everybody's going to get lost. The enemy is trying to wear a lot of people out with opposition. Because if he can wear the believers out, he can make us mentally, spiritually tired. Then the light goes out forever. Come on now. As the people of God, it is Satan's mission to wear you out mentally so that you cannot function for the kingdom of God. That's why the spiritual warfare is so heavy. It's so heavy on the believers because I know I'm going through it. But I'm really trying to fight through it. Come on now. Because if not, if we don't fight through it, that light is going to go out. It's going to get dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and dimmer and to the point nobody can see don't you understand that your voice don't you understand that your messages is the reason why a lot of people still get up and keep going see right now if you're somebody that god is using heavily come on holy spirit the enemy is fighting you the most i know it because i'm experiencing it the enemy is on me why keep speaking why keep talking you know you're tired. Sit down. What you got to worry about the world for? People going to live and die anyway. You see what I'm saying? If you know, if you are tapped into the spirit, you know that it's what's happening right now. He's trying to make us weak. Even this morning, I had to stand against the enemy and get on here and preach this message. This is not a game or a lie. I had to push myself. To let you know that God's word is the anchor. He is the anchor. God had to remind me that we've came too far to give up now. You see what I'm saying? This is going to happen to a lot more of the people of God. I'm just here to tell you. I got to sound the alarm. God said his word is the anchor. He is the anchor. Do not get caught up in society. They're normalizing so much stuff. That we don't even know what's right anymore and what's wrong. We already know people are praising everything that is wrong. But God says, stay in my word. That's where you will find me. Come on now, catch them diamonds. Do not get lost in the transition. Because it's a dark one. It is a very dark transition and that's happening in the world. Sometimes I don't know men from women. That's what I mean when everything's getting darker. You don't know who's who. I ain't trying to be funny, but I'm seeing this. Everything is all off. 
And when you sing a dysfunctional society and everything is out of whack, you thinking, what's the point? Nobody wants righteousness anymore. Nobody wants the truth. That's what the enemy will do to you. Say you're wasting your time. But see, God has already won that battle. Come on now. God has already defeated Satan. But now you have to defeat Satan. You're going to have to defeat the negativity. You're going to have to defeat the darkness that's surrounding us. God says stay in the light. That's how you're going to see the truth. Because once you stop holding on to God, come on now, once you let go of God, you start floating into darkness. You start to be a part of everything that they're normalizing in this world that you know is not right. But when you keep being conditioned and conditioned and they're, being, they're feeding you, they're feeding you this, they're feeding you that, you get used to it. You start consuming it. Come on, man. You start consuming it. That's how they make the body of Christ weaker, the vessel weaker. This is why you got to stay with God. Eat from the table of the Lord. Stay in that righteousness because that's the only way you're going to be able to see. This is the only way you're going to know what the truth is. Because soon as you let go of that anchor, come on. I say soon as you let go of the anchor, you will be lost forever. You will start going for things that are not of God. You will start settling in. Saying it's okay, let them do what they do. You don't understand, it's dangerous. When people do not have respect or fear the Lord, it is a dangerous place to be. Because as you notice, people don't fear jail or hell anymore. That's dangerous for you. Don't you understand that? When people don't have nothing to lose and they don't care about nothing, it is more dangerous for you as a believer. Because they have no barriers. They're breaking everything down. Come on now. Is you hearing me? This is why you got to keep that light on. We have to keep that light on. For anybody else that is getting lost. And also for each other. We're going to have to fight. Through the spiritual warfare. Especially the one in our mind. We're going to have to fight. We're going to have to keep the light on. Because that's how you keep darkness away. Come on now, listen. That's how you're going to keep the darkness away. Because this is a dangerous society that don't fear nothing. And that's not a good thing. And this is why the enemy always stay around the body of Christ. Attacking each and every one of us personally. Is so that he can make us weaker. So nobody will believe in the power of God. Come on now, that is deep. That's why he's doing it. And when the time comes, I know that the wrath of God will come against those who continue to be rebellious. He did it once, he's going to do it again. And this is what keeps me walking in the light. Come on now. Because the world wants to minimize God. As if when things come down to it, nothing's going to happen. We're just going to die. There is no judgment. They keep trying to water God down. But don't believe that. The world that you live in, you go outside and look at all the animals, all the creation. Ain't no man responsible for that. There is a mighty God. And when he said he's going to bring his wrath, <laughs> you better believe it. Don't get caught up in society and their non-belief. You better stay in that word. Come on now. Somebody say, stay in the word. Hold on to God because he is the anchor. Catch them down.